Join me as we embark on the trip of a lifetime. This is paradise. From the Miami airport to Panama City to the smallest plane I've ever been on to Opanga to reach our final destination, Tropic Star Lodge. Here we go, getting on the smallest plane I've ever been on. Welcome to Tropic Star. Yeah, we, we know how, how difficult it is to get here. We also know how much time you guys have spent getting here. And we want to make sure that this is one of the best holidays, if not the best holiday you guys have ever had. Good morning from the world famous Tropic Star Lodge. I want to give a huge thank you to Big Adventure for setting up this trip. This place is nothing short of incredible. And a huge thank you to Saltwater Sportsman for setting up this amazing expedition. I am so excited. Today is day one of fishing of four days. So let's head offshore, see what we can catch. I know we're going to have an absolutely incredible time. So we are at our first spot of the day. There are a ton of species that you can catch in Panama. The first thing that we're starting with this morning is throwing poppers and stick baits towards this rock in the background. And hopefully we can catch some kuberas on this trip. That is a fish that is on my bucket list that I would absolutely love to catch. So that's what we're starting with this morning. We're also then gonna later get some live bait, troll some live bait. So a lot of different things on the menu today. One thing that's really cool about fishing these areas as we're just going down the shoreline and casting towards these rocks is the watercolor that splashes up against these rocks. It's just the most beautiful turquoise blue you've ever seen. It is gorgeous. What is it, a rooster fish? Yeah. Uh, the jack. Yeah. Jacks them to float around in the boat a lot, so if you fold them over like that, they don't go anywhere. Get the hook out nice and easy. There's my first fish in Panama. It's always interesting that these Jack Ravels have these stripes on them. We're back home, we don't have stripes on our Jack Ravels. Going home. See ya! You gotta start somewhere. You can't start with the trophy fish. You gotta stay a little bit humble and get yourself some Jack Ravels to start out. All right guys, so we just switched it up. We went from inshore fishing, which was pretty slow. We got a call that the tuna were about 10 miles offshore around schools of dolphins. So we just found them. There are dolphins jumping everywhere and tuna blowing up in them. There's birds working. It is just going off around here. So we're just gonna be throwing poppers now, trying to get a bite. are blowing up.
with my popper. He jumped out of the water, like hit the popper like 12 feet in the air. And then I don't know if a different one grabbed it or if the same one grabbed it when it hit the water again, but that was crazy. Wow. Another tuna on, baby. You can just look out in any direction. There's either dolphin jumping or tuna jumping. This is epic. This is just like the stuff you dream about seeing and being able to fish. Just amazing. They're like that nice, fun sized tuna that you could catch all day and it's not gonna kill you versus like a giant one that you could fight for a really long time and break your back. These are the fun sized tuna. <laughs> Doubled up with my babe. Oh, he's not done yet. <laughs> he heard me say that uh, he was a fun sized tuna that was going to give up easy, and he was like, I'll show you. <laughs> This lodge does a lot of catch and release fishing. However, tunas, dolphin, we do keep and bring home for dinner. We've already had tuna for lunch and dinner yesterday. So I'm excited to bring this home and have it for dinner again tonight. Just a beautiful fish in an absolutely epic location. Let's get back to fishing. In addition to Victor and I going on this trip of a lifetime, Saltwater Sportsman also sent four other creators on this trip. We all went out on three different boats for four days of fishing. It was fun getting back to the dock and talking about what everyone caught that day. Half of the group even spent three days sleeping in the Darien jungle and kayak fishing right off the remote beach. There will be a link in the video description to check out the other creators' videos from this Saltwater Sportsman adventure. Well, these guys are flaying up all our fish that we caught today as well as some fish from another boat because I see a big amberjack head there and we didn't catch an amberjack today. So we're flaying them all up and then they're gonna bring them up to the restaurant up there so we can have them for dinner tonight. I don't know if we're having them for dinner tonight because I think they already took our order for tonight. <laughs> so Rex said they put the carcasses in the trash can and they take them offshore because they don't want sharks around here because people swim around here. Oh my gosh. Oh, that here. thing is massive. Whoa. Whoa, that's is this your pet? Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye. How was your day? Amazing. Uh, started out a little slow, but I, I mean, just like, it's repetitive to say the sights and sounds, but that's the beauty of this place is when you come here, you're not just coming here for the fishing, but just the experience and the nature and the beauty of it. And the second half of the day was incredible. I mean, one of the best afternoon tuna bites we've ever been on. Spinner dolphin jumping everywhere. Rookie outfished me by a lot. I think I lost four tuna and she had already three in the boat before I landed one. But it's just... Very cool here. The service, the attention to detail. When you get back, everyone's asking you what you caught. They they really do not want you to lift a finger when you come here, which is really crazy. 
because when you're a fisherman, you're like used to doing a lot of things yourself. But they, this is like 10 out of 10, five star, like, this is what it must feel like to be a celebrity, I imagine. If you could give a place 10 stars, this place would have 10 stars. Absolutely. It's just absolutely incredible. Anything you could think of, they've already thought of and they're thinking of it before you can even think of it. And, and they have it waiting for you. Look at this. Hello. Towel service, dresses. Yeah, real warm. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. So? so you, you see it's raining, but the reason it's so beautiful yeah. around here and green and luscious is you're in the rainforest. This is our walk to our room. Just look how gorgeous. Every day when you got back to the lodge after fishing, there would always be a fresh tuna snack waiting for you. It was something different each day and it was always so delicious. Cheers to the first day, guys. Uh, yeah. Dennis, you're here, all right? First He's time. here, he's behind the camera. First Salute. Time. Now I'm about to do something very unconventional and we are skipping all the way to day four of fishing. I'm just trying to keep you on your toes. The other two days of fishing will be in another video, so look forward to that. Now let's head back offshore for another incredible day. Good morning, it is our last day of fishing here in Panama, and it is the windiest day that we have had so far. It has been slick calm, I'm talking zero knots of wind every single day, and today we are offshore and it is blowing. So we're gonna try to get on the tuna again today, just found a school of spinner dolphin. Since it's so rough, poppers are not gonna be the choice today. It's hard to work a popper on the surface when it's blowing this hard. So let's see if we can find some tuna. And wish us luck. We're gonna have another beautiful day out here. Dolphins are kind of acting differently in this rough weather. You see they're all yeah. doing that. Like what is that? I don't know. Just like splashing their bellies on the surface. <laughs> They got the, their elephant tuna and every elephant's got a little bit of a different size sickle, but these guys got baby sickles, they have the little yellow finlets, and they're just so lit up when you first catch them. You really gotta appreciate them when you first catch them because they're so beautiful, huh Brooke? It's just so special to be here in this amazing place, and I'm glad I get to do it with my favorite person. Thank you, me too. Let's get these in the box and let's catch some more. Let's do it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Fidel's constantly looking to see what the birds are doing because a lot of times you see birds and tuna or you see birds and dolphin but there's no tuna. You gotta look for those fish that are actually breaching the surface. Oh yeah, baby. This is what tuna fishing dreams are made of. There it is, right on top! Oh my god! So I'm gonna get 
so the time of year that we're here right now, this is the cat size tuna that you're going to be catching. They do get giant yellowfin tuna here, but this time of year, you got this size tuna, as well as they have an incredible marlin fishery here, which is really what they're known for, but we're not in marlin season, so that's why we've been doing a lot of inshore fishing, as well as coming offshore and catching these, I guess you'd call them schooly sized tuna. Look at that gorgeous thing. constantly moving. Captain Fidel will see the best spot for us to run. So we get the fish in the boat, we run to where the fish are at, we cast again, and we just repeat the process over and over again. So they're up in front of the boat up there. The dolphins are going crazy, the birds are everywhere. Let's see how long this takes. Oh, literally no time at all. <laughs> oh boy, it's in the water for like three seconds. the tunas out here and I have never seen anyone clean a tuna like this. The way that he skins it before he removes the loins off of the bones is just incredible. It looks really easy but I think it's just because he's done it a bunch of times. I don't think I could do that so well especially not on my first try trying but it's easier out here if you just fillet your fish, get rid of the carcasses because they don't like throwing the carcasses at the dock because they don't want to bring sharks in to the dock. So if you do it out here, you put the meat in some bags, put it on ice, then it's ready to go as soon as you get back to the dock. This is also his third tuna in less than five minutes. <laughs> Victor seen him come up 
on one of the teasers and Dario pitched out a goggle eye and sure enough he ate it. It's time to start backing down and gaining some line. He doesn't stop, there we go. All right, time to work. We've made it to the end of the first video. Like I said, there will be another one coming out soon, so be looking forward to that. Thank you to Solar Sportsman, Big Adventure, and Tropic Star Lodge for the trip of a lifetime. I also want to give you, who's sitting and watching right now, a huge thank you as well. Without you, none of this would be possible. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching and supporting my adventures. Cheers, everyone, to a great trip. Woo! Thank you all for coming. Final adventure of the small, 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 small